we're back at it with what I told you guys we would do, cross-text question agreement, okay? And these are the exception, not the rule, as I said at the end of last class. Is this last class? Yeah, sure, well, we'll call these classes. Okay, so let me adjust my, no, that's not how you do this. There we go, yeah, okay. So this one is, again, cross-text. And you guys might say, I've never seen this type of question because the cross-text questions are very rare. There are only one per test. And on the Bluebeck test, they haven't done this yet, but you guys know Digital SAT College Board has teamed up with Khan Academy, right? So these are in the Khan Academy questions. And I have to dig a little bit to kind of get um, access and an idea of what these are about, but you guys wanted it, so I'll do it, right? So this is text one, text two. Again, this is not very common. How do you know it's an agreement question? You guys watched my last video, right? Thank you. Because it says agree, <laughs> right? That's it, okay? So if they ask about what, what would they agree on, it's an agreement question. Cool. And the identification of the question should be that simple, really. So these are going to be, let me try writing, not the main point, okay? So if you guys remember from paper SAT, when I have double passages, right? They mostly disagree on stuff, okay? So what is the little thing they have in common? Not their main argument, okay? So for instance, if I have one passage that says, we should not have any more slave states. The second passage says, we should have more slave states. Then what do they agree on? Slave states exist. That type of nothing statement, and as you guys know, nothing statements are great for SAT answers, right? But that type of nothing statement is especially likely and almost always the answer for agreement questions. So up to that point is the same as the paper SAT. Now, I would argue this is even easier. Why? Because these are so much shorter. Look at this, All right? It's like, oh, did you just get lazy and only know this is actually the length of the question that I've seen. Text one, it's like, what, two, three sentences, okay? And text two is a little bit more, yeah. So I'm not going to look at those two, okay? I actually, let's then, you guys already know extreme answers are bad, right? And I just said extreme answers are especially bad for this. I have to go to a nothing answer. And so as I've been doing, what do you guys think is the wrong answer? What can we eliminate right away? What's terrible, atrocious, unbearable? C. Why? Because of the word most. It's the most iconic. That's a very strong statement. I don't like strong statements. Okay, so that's up. Yeah, so I want to get rid of any type of judgmental opinion in these, okay? And as you guys know, as always, these are the quickest way to do it. If you want to actually read through the text, understand everything, and do the questions, you can do that. And in fact, I would recommend you guys do that in your daily life to get your reading up. Well, when you're really taking the test and you want to make sure you're doing it the most efficient way, this is the way I would recommend. Okay? So the answer here is going to be not C because it has the word most. That's too extreme. Okay? And let's see. Um, all of these things, out of these, which ones do you think is most likely? You guys could probably guess if you guys are a seasoned watchers of Sexy J. Okay? So for this, let's just look at text one. What is, what is text one saying? This one is saying that um, his mythical... Good, okay? But pretty much these are saying something is good, something is bad, okay? My handwriting is atrocious, but I don't really care, okay? This one is saying that, uh, what is, oh, mundane. Good, okay? Those are the summaries of the passage. Mythical good, mundane good for this uh, second one, okay? So let's look at the answer choices and let's look at the traps, okay? Mythical figures have a story tradition in the art of painting. That's wrong. And how do they lay the traps, guys? As you guys always know, they took the words from the passage that seem related. Like, did I talk about mythical figures in them? Yeah. Um, do we have the art of painting? Yes. What's missing? Do I have any mention of tradition in either of these texts? No. It just sounds like it's vaguely related. That's all. Okay. So this, you can just use your regular elimination tips that you guys know from watching, I don't know, hopefully all my videos, right? Um, and then let's look at answer choices B and D. D, this is also very common, guys. They will. Um, this is a reverse a statement. So D is a very good illustration of two principles here. And also, this is, okay. So if you look at D, false paintings of mundane life overshadow his other paintings. That is the reverse of the main argument in text two. 
Therefore, number one, text, if it's the reverse of text two, then text two would disagree, right? Duh. Number two, it is an argument. I don't like arguments. So the answer here is just B. False works possess a degree of diversity in the subjects depicted. You guys are picking up on that. How unnatural does that sound? Well, so what does B mean in regular speech? His works have a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I just need a bunch of stuff. So I have heroes, and I have he also other stuff. Cool. And this one, same thing. We have um, we have uh, the demigods, and we have mundane tasks. Okay. So let's focus a little bit on how to do this really quickly. Okay. So I said, um, what do they agree on? These are going to be again the nothing statements. Passage one, in summary, says his mythical paintings are amazing. He has other stuff, but the mythical paintings are good. Passage two says the opposite. He has the normal paintings, they're better than the mythical. What do they both agree on? He does mythical and the normal, right? For example, Michael Jordan played basketball and he played baseball. Obviously, he was better at basketball than baseball, right? But everybody would agree he did play both of those sports. That type of thing is going to be on these SAT passages on the cross text, okay? So did he um, paint a bunch of stuff? Yes. Text one and two, they disagree on which stuff was better, but he, they do agree he painted stuff because he's a painter. He paints stuff. That's his job. Yeah. Okay. So that is it for um, today's quick and dirty on the cross text agreement. And I did make this video because it is a very unique type of question. But don't worry about this question too, too much in terms of devoting your time to practice. Why? Because one, I'm good at this. So this would be all the practice you need. Number two, this only comes up once per test. Okay. So. As always, leave in the comments what you guys want to see covered next. And if you guys want to see anything non-SAT related, that's also welcome. I just started writing some poetry and nonfiction and fiction. So anything literature nerd would also be cool because I want to nerd out on stuff. Okay. Uh, see you guys next time. Study every day with Sexy J. That's the best way. Bye-bye.